Good morning, folks. Grant Russell with TransWest Truck Trailer RV here in Frederick, Colorado. And a beautiful sunny day here in, in uh, beautiful town of Frederick. Um, behind me, we've got a brand new 2023 Newmar Dutch Star. It is a 4325 floor plan. It's a brand new floor plan for 2023. Um, awesome floor plan. Might be one of my new favorites. Uh, just kind of going through it. It's got a lot of nice interior storage. Just to start out here while you guys are checking this out. So this is um, a new exterior graphics here. This has the Allura graphics. Absolutely stunning exterior. Thought I'd go over some specs with you first before we go walking around it. So just to start out with the 4325 floor plan has an overall length of 43 feet, nine inches. The overall height, the right height is 13 feet, one inch. You've got a wheelbase of 288 plus the tag an axle ratio of 4.78. Why don't we get started around on this side like we normally do, Jody, and uh, introduce the stock number. So, start out with, we have stock number 5N221519. New for 2023. We do have, they've gone away from the chrome tips to the, um, you've got an actual stainless steel tip on the exhaust pipes. And then in here, in this bay, I'm gonna go ahead and open the hood latch so we can show you guys the, uh, um, the, the hood on this one that opens up and the release in here. Go ahead and get this open. So this generator does slide out. As you can see, this has a 10,000 watt diesel generator. I've got it running right now, um, fairly quiet. You do have in this in this bay an air air chuck to tap into the air on the coach. You've got a hot water line. If, after a long road trip, you want to hook up a hose and spray off all the bugs on the front of the coach. You have access to a hot water line. You can see where your windshield wiper fluids are located. The fuel filter on the generator. Come around this way. You can see the air ho the air horns that are hidden there. And then on this side, we do have the hydraulics. So this coach has hydraulic jacks as well as a full wall slide with tile, and that has it's an all hydraulic slide out. We'll go inside in a little bit. I'll show you how that all works because all the slides are in at the moment. Give you a good look at the slides in. All right. So coming around to this first bay here, I know that's where I opened the hood, hood latch release was here. It's also where a lot of your wiring harnesses are located. This is a Freightliner chassis. So a lot of this is dedicated to the Freightliner side of things. Fuses, wiring, breakers, like that are gonna be in this bay here. Um, the steer, so on a 43 foot Dutch Star, you got 365, so 365 70 R22 and a half steer tires on the tag and the drive, you're gonna have 315 70 R22 and a half. This, is an independent front suspension and the front axle ratio on this is 19 is rated at 19,000 pounds. The rear axle is rated at 20,000 pounds and the tag axle is going to be rated at 12,000 pounds. Coming down to the, uh, this side here, we've got, this, you can fill the fuel on both sides of the coach. This coach has 150 gallons of diesel fuel. In this first bay here that we open up, we've got the eight Harris AGM batteries on a slide tray. So this whole thing slides out here. Easy access to your batteries. And as I'm opening and closing these doors, you'll notice also new for 23, you've got easy open, easy close baggage doors. Something to point out there. We've got new seals in here that make these close much easier over the past years. Uh, we have the opposite side of the slide tray here. 
This pulls all the way out. This is an option that this coach got. This goes all the way out on this side and all the way out on the other side. Nice place to store, get access to all your gear. This holds up to a thousand pounds. You also notice on the compartment doors, we've got the conduit here with an electrical line. So all your compartment doors are keyless locking and unlocking doors. So with a push of a button, you can lock and unlock all your compartment doors. Next bay down, we've got a little wider tray. Again, it's full pass-through storage tray. On both sides. In this bay, we've got the Oasis. So this coach is equipped with the Oasis Chinook hydronic heating system. That is your diesel burner that heats, that provides heat for the coach. And when you're running the diesel fire, that gives you that nice continuous hot water for longer showers. Um, it does have two electric elements in it as well. So if you're plugged into 30 amp or 50 amp service, it'll also provide you with um, 110 heat. All right, in this bay here, we've got 50 foot, 50 amp power service. So the shore power is, you walk it out, What's nice about what Numar does, I'll put this little rubber grommet here in this area, so you just tuck this in place to close the door. You're not running it out a hole in the floor where your cord's still going down the hole in the floor with gaps around it, so it keeps rodents, keeps things out of the, uh, the bay. You don't have to put any kind of wire brush or anything in that hole, in that spot. And then to run it in, push button here, and that reels it in. Also located in this bay, you've got your automatic transfer switch. And then the little white panel down below here is going to be for your part cable. Dump station. Uh, this is the water work station, they call it. So in this bay, you've got your outside shower, whole house water filtration system, some low point drain lines, winterization kit is located here. <clears throat> This one did get equipped with the RB SantaCon system. So the SantaCon system does give you the smaller, smaller hose here. You can literally pump your wastewater uphill if you needed to. Um, you still can use the gravity dump here, but back in the back here is the RV SantaCon system that will grind up all your solids and pump the wastewater out. And then on this side here, we've got a retractable city water connection. So you, again, you walk this out, hook it up to your city water, it's already, uh, it, it does have a, uh, they recommend you use a uh, water pressure regulator, but these, these systems do work well off of the city water. Um, also, you can push the button here to reel that in. When it comes time to unhook and hit the road. Okay, so down this end here, in this compartment, we do have a dedicated area for things that are associated with the actual dump station. You've got a place to put gloves, chemicals, um, anything associated with the <clears throat> dump station area. All right, back here in the back, you do have diesel exhaust fluid. There's a, the reservoir is gonna be located on the driver, on the passenger side. Um, it does have 15 gallons of DEF fluid. I'll show you that tank here in just a bit when we get to the other side. Got an exit door. So this will open up. There's a ladder that deploys out for another emergency exit. You do have exit windows, but you also have an exit door. All Dutch stars are gonna come with the side radiator. You got a new front and a new rear cap on the new Dutch stars. All LED lights. You notice there's two cameras equipped on this Dutch Star. There's one up top. You've got the backup camera, new for 2023. You do have the static grid lines on the monitor, so it does show you when you're backing up. Um, on this camera here, it does have the Omni 360 camera, so it does have four cameras around the coach. It gives you that bird's eye view. <clears throat> Down below here, we've got 15,000 pound tow hitch. Uh, it does come with the AccuBrake system here from Freightliner. It does give you uh, 
uh, actual air chuck here with a, its own air ping tank dedicated to uh, if you have like a, a stack trailer that has air brakes on it anything like that or if you use air force one it actually already has the air system here so you can tap into it and in the back here we've got again with the side radiator give you gives you nice easy access to belts and hoses you see your fuel filter water separators located here and the fuel filter here on the engine um, you've got the uh, uh, air filter is going to be located here and the filter minder is located right here below here that gives you an indicator when it's time to change that out and of course your dipsticks on the engine oil and your transmission are located here <clears throat> power steering fluid so everything's real nice and easy to access um, also that oasis hydronic heat that we were talking about earlier down the side this is where the actual Reservoir is located for the glycol to go into, so that mixes with the diesel, diesel uh, fuel to give you hot water and to heat the coach in the winter time. <clears throat> okay, so you notice as we're coming down the side here, the badge here, it's a 450. All Dutch Stars are gonna have a 450 horsepower Cummins diesel engine. 1250 pound foot of torque coming down to this bay here we've got the, the cranking batteries this is your engine batteries it's an on off switch for the engine batteries some more wiring harnesses associated with the with the chassis here's the 15 gallon tank of diesel exhaust fluid you feel from the other side a lot of times when you pull into your fuel stops the fuel the gun is on the driver's side so water tanks you've got 150 or 105 gallons of fresh water which is behind this pegboard you've got the shelving here just to Keep extra supplies in the outdoor chemicals, def fluid, fuel filters, belts, hoses, anything like that. You've got a nice little storage area. Um, going back to water tanks, you've got 105 gallons of fresh water, you've got 75 gallons of gray water, and you have 55 gallons of black water. So this bay does not have the tray. Um, so for taller items, you've got full access here to put taller items in this compartment. This does back up to the Oasis on the other side. And the, um, so you can order these and get a three quarter tray. Uh, you'll notice some other components in here, like you've got your inner vac, uh, central vacuum. This has a whole house water filtration or central vacuum system on it. Um, on this side, you see the two white panels here. So this is actually where you can operate the, um, the awnings. If you want to pan up, I'm going to go ahead and run these awnings out. So these, this Dutch Dark did get the optional um, Gerard Nova package. So let's see here, Gerard package with Nova awnings. So what that means is not only do you get uh, two awnings, but you also get two awnings that pitch down the middle. So as these are coming out, you'll notice the bar that runs right down the center of the awning. And if you get a, yeah, if you can get a good shot of that, it gives you nice shade coverage out here, even though the sun's at a bad angle at the moment, but it does give you some nice shade coverage out here. Also, you'll notice in the awnings, you got the LED light. I don't have them on right now. I don't know if you can see that, but um, there's a remote control to turn those lights on and off, and you can do it from the panel inside as well. Here's the other side of those two slide trays. I slid them all the way out earlier. Again, you can slide them all the way out on this side. 
and kind of kept the slides in at the moment just so you can see how easy it is to access your storage compartments. This slide comes straight out and straight in so it does give you the, the taller baggage doors on the patio side. <clears throat> And you'll notice above these trays, we've got another hidden compartment back behind here. We've got the outside entertainment center. So you got a 43 inch Samsung smart TV, smart LED television with a Bose soundbar. This is a Bluetooth speaker. If you want to pair your devices to the Bluetooth, play your music outdoors, certainly can. And also this will pull out, tilt to get the glare off of it, and angle down, actually. So it's kind of a nice feature too to get more glare off of it. And last but not least, in the storage compartments, you've got outside refrigerator freezer combo, came with this one. This will pull all the way out gets past the slide. So when this slide comes all the way out, it stops about right behind this cooler here. So you can still open these up. And these, the new refrigerator freezers are really nice. You can actually have it for a, a refrigerator on one side and a freezer on the other if you wanted to set it up that way. You could do it just all one big freezer or one big refrigerator. Uh oh, fumble. Okay, coming to the front here, we've got the keyless entry. You can use the keypad to lock and unlock your compartment doors and the entrance door. It also has a doorbell on it. I'm gonna go in first. Actually, before I go in, just something to point out. I know I miss, I miss a lot on. These are storage compartments. Place, good place to keep your sandals, umbrellas, maps, tools. And then this has, this is all Corian entry step at night. These all light up. You may be able to kind of see a little bit of lighting. They're on right now, but it's daytime, so something to point out. All right. So I'm going to you, I'm going to leave the slides in so you can see how much room you have when you're, when you're traveling. Um, as you can see, I can walk all the way to the back. If I had to, I can crawl over the bed to get all the way to the back bathroom, but that's the only way you're getting to the back bathroom when the slides are all in. Um, you can step on the, this is a hydraulic floor, so it's in the up position, in position. You kind of see where it raises above the main floor here. So this door will open in. So now I can access the half bath while I'm on the road. Something to point out there. And then also, if I want to grab a beverage or something out of the refrigerator, you still easily get to it from either side here. I can access all my cabinets slides in. So I'm going to come up front there and we'll start running some slides out. You'll see how much room it's going to give with the slides out. So up front here. As they're going out, this... Oh yeah, so the, the slide controls are going to be right here in the front overhead cabinet for the front slides. Um, as it's going out, you've got... Uh, I thought I'd mention this has the Allura graphics. And it also has the Allura decor. This has a standard Bermuda glazed maple hardwood with a matte finish. And some options to go over. This does have the electric heat below the floor tile. This is an all electric coach with a 2800 watt pure sign inverter with eight AGM batteries. Um, it has a central vac we talked about on the outside. It does come with a dishwasher. So I'll show you here in just a bit. <clears throat> um, it does come with the Wi-Fi Everest with the router. 
Also has a stackable washer dryer in the back, which you'll get to see here in just a bit. Um, solar prep. It's got the solar prep for anybody who wants to add solar to this particular one. It is prepped. It doesn't have it on there, but all the six gauge wiring's there. <clears throat> all right, so we've got those two slides out. So now it's nice and open. This floor plan really gives you a huge living room to redesign master bath in the back, which we'll go over in just a bit. But as you can see, we've got theater seating here. And these are electric. I mean, they're very comfortable. You can sit here and kick back your legs and watch a ball game, watch basketball. I know we're in the, in the uh, Elite Eight or Sweet 16 right now. So uh, anyways, they're very comfortable. You got a 55 inch TV across the way, straight ahead of you. Um, Similar to the 4369 floor plan, but um, a little different. So as we come down the way here, it's, it still has a pull-out countertop here. I didn't go over this. So this sofa, does, it's a fold-and-tumble sofa. You still have, with the all-electric, you're going to get the true induction cooktop. Cutting boards on the flip side of the, these inserts, Corian inserts. This will come out. You can unplug, take it outside, cook outdoors if you wanted to. A lot of counter space. Um, electric shades. So if I want to operate the shades, I'll go ahead and start running them up. They were down. The day shades were up. If I want to run my night shades down, you can do them all at once or you can do them individually with the remote. Back up, take those back down. And you do have a split in the sink. Gives you a nice big kind of farm sink with the split. And also, as I'm taking these Corian covers off, down below here, it's kind of hard to see it, but back in the back, you can kind of see a couple of felt pads there. That's where you can insert your, your covers if you wanted to store those away. You notice as we're under the sink here, we've got a couple of pullouts here. Dedicated trash area. <clears throat> and new for 2023 in the 4325, we've reached the beverage center. So this, this particular one gives you the way this was ordered came with, <clears throat> excuse me, um, you've got the wine, uh, wine storage with the glass stemware up top, and then it gives you some extra countertop space overhead here as well. And then also on this side, we've got the refrigerator. So you've got a 19.7 cubic foot all electric Whirlpool refrigerator. On the right hand side of this refrigerator, push to release pantry storage. One, two, three, four, five, six, nice big drawers. And then on the left side, if you need more storage, this is not lacking. So we've got some adjustable shelves here instead of pull out drawers. And to kind of give it a residential feel too, new for 2023. If you notice on the very bottom of these pantry areas, we've got kind of a design, um, design area down below there on the woodwork. And then the bedroom, you can close this off. It closes off the master bedroom from the Galliera. Really gives you a nice big living room. As we go back to the back here in just a bit, we'll show you the bathroom. I need to run that slide out. As this is going out, this does have king size. Let's see if it got it or not got the standard pillow top mattress. Optional is a sleep number. I didn't see it on there, I just wanted to double check. So this does have the standard pillow top mattress. As it's going out, um, there are, um, this also has MCD roller shades in the bedroom with the, a second remote control to run your shades up and down, the day and night shades. Under the bed, notice a couple of folding chairs, a couple of leaves. 
I won't pull those out, but I will show you real fast how simple this part is here. So if you do have guests with you, and you need more table space, you're going to put a couple of folding chairs outside the, the dinette. This is the Euro booth dinette with the two, two leaves and two folding chairs. There's a leg under here that's held up by a magnet. So you got to pop that down, put that in place, put your two leaves in place. Now you've got lots of counter space. And then also with the Euro dinette, you do have a couple of drawers that come out under both, both of the dinettes there. All right, and I almost passed up the half bath. So this has, this is a half bath. You've got a medicine cabinet in there. There's some good storage in there. Um, it's also where your house breakers and your house fuses are all located in that cabinet directly above the toilet. Open this up here and give you kind of see where that's accessible. Excuse me. Got some good counter space, good storage in there in that room. And then also new for 2023, you've got this, the new connected solutions that Newmar is providing. Um, I don't have my, my phone paired to it at the moment, but you can see if I tap on Bluetooth, you can pair a device to it and you can have access to your lights, your generator, your floor heat, your fans, your um, HVAC. I go into the home screen here, I can check on my holding tanks, I can see where my battery levels are at, I can operate my lights, I can actually run the TV up and down. So if I hit the TV down, you kind of pan over, you see, okay, I've got the TV Disappearing at the moment, 55-inch TV is a televator. And then we have the generator controls here, floor heat, front, mid, and back, fan controls, heat, HVAC, and I showed you the Bluetooth and then the lighting. All right, coming around to the back, a new, this has a, the, the bedroom is kind of the same design as 4369 um, floor plan and a lot of the other ones as well with the king size bed with the wardrobe storage across the way. You've got a 43 inch LED TV with the six drawers down below. Actually, I say six drawers. I think this one here, this is not a drawer. This one is your adjustable shelf to add game systems, receivers for satellites. And the rest of these, the other five, are full extension drawer glides. You'll notice as I'm closing them, they are on soft close. Hinges. You got more wardrobe storage here. All right, a new bathroom for 2023 on the 4325. So they've dedicated a lot of the living space to the up front. So it is a little smaller bath, but you still get stackable washer dryer. The shower is still a good size shower. Look how I put the handles on that side, a handle on this side. It's all glass. This is a 40 by 32. It's not quite as big as the the larger showers that Dutch Star does provide, but gets the job done. Got the overhead sprayer here, got the wand there, grab handle. This does have the teak seat, well, fold down shower seat. And then across, on this side here, we've got some more, more wardrobe storage. I'm going to get a shot of that all the way in there in the back wall you'll see the um the kib module there that's for the multiplex light system throughout the coach kind of the brains for it and then down below here we've got one two three good sized drawers dedicated for the master bedroom dual vanity sink Oops. Notice you've got an electrical outlet in the medicine cabinet here. 
You want to keep anything plugged in. Lots of counter space. And then lots of storage down below as well. So, yeah, full extension drawer glides. I'm kind of getting in the way there, so then that gives you lots of storage in the bathroom here. I mentioned to you the exit door. So this opens up. This panel pulls off here. You kind of see that ladder. Ladder just telescopes down. You never know if you're in any kind of an emergency situation and you need to get out. Nice to have peace of mind knowing that you've got a ladder to get out of here. <clears throat> Leave the front door open and you know, all of a sudden a big grizzly bear comes walking in. Where'd he go? Right here I'd go. <laughs> Let's go up front and I'll show you some of the dash features. If anybody has a question, feel free to chime in, ask any questions. I'm happy to answer any that you have. Hope I'm covering most of your questions. <clears throat> this here. So Freightliner has come out with a new design for 2023 or for this, this build here. I want to turn this on. So I know I mentioned to you earlier that it has the uh, static grid lines in the backup camera. So if I put this coach in reverse on this camera system here, it's got, oh, and also these are nine inch monitors. So if I go into reverse, it's gonna display the static grid lines there. And it gives you a nice view there when you're backing up. And like our auto industry has today. Just something I wanted to put out there. And then also, Go into my menu here, camera control, 360 view. So on the right hand side, now we can see the 360 bird's eye view I was talking about earlier. And then there is different camera views you can select and toggle through just using this button down below here. Okay, and then if I go back to this nine inch monitor, you do have access to AM, FM, um, uh, Sirius, XM satellite radio, um, Bluetooth, you can pair your mobile devices to this. Um, also has navigation. So the new Navingo system has auto updates on it. Um, they do program the size of this coach so you won't take it on routes that you're not supposed to be traveling on. Um, for instance, uh, low overhead bridges, anything like that. Um, it'll make sure it keeps you away from those areas. Um, on the dash here, we've got uh, the Freightliner. I know I mentioned new for, it's got, it's really easy and to navigate through this. So you can kind of see right now it's on, let me go to the home screen here. So that brings up my gauges. Um, you do have the steering effort. If I go into it, that's the comfort drive. So I can literally toggle up and down on the comfort drive. If I go back and I go out of it, I want you to see something. So if I'm in a system, say I'm on the tire pressure and I want to see the comfort drive right now, my favorite tab, if you get a picture on the steering wheel, so right here is my favorites tab right there. So if I hit that button on the dash cluster, right now it's set for steering effort. So kind of a neat feature there. I can just hit the favorites button that brings me to my steering effort. Now, if you don't, if you want to set something else to that as a favorite, literally just hold that down i believe it's for five seconds on anything else for instance tire pressure if you wanted that to be your favorites you could hold that down i believe it's for five seconds here i'm gonna keep holding now it says favorite set so now every time i hit my favorites it's going to bring up my tire pressure now <clears throat> so go back back out of that home screen so real simple and easy to navigate through here's your trip one trip two vehicle settings, diagnostics, easy to read, my def fuel, my diesel fuel capacity. So just something to point out there uh, that the Freightliner has introduced new for 20, or this is a 2023 year model. You do have charge pad over here for your mobile devices, parking brake, lights are, con are here, fog lights are gonna be located here. Um, also, 
going back a few years, I can't remember when it was introduced, but the six-speed Allison transmission on the Freightliner has now been moved to the actual uh, steering stock here. So this is your drive in reverse, automatic manual transmission. Also, this is your engine brake. You'll notice right here where it says engine brake. You can see that off, low, medium, high. So all the way forward is off and then low, medium, high makes it really simple you want you're not having to take your eyes off the road when you're you're operating the transmission operating shifting gears or uh, if you're in the manual transmission mode or if you're setting your your engine brake and then you do have a power window over here on this side auto trans automatic trans uh, track control override is here um, you also have your tag dump You've got it in the forward position so when you go into reverse it'll automatically dump the air on the tag axle <clears throat> and that way you don't get any tire scrub on it um, you can manually dump it if you're driving at low speeds through some switchbacks you can manually dump the tag so you're only on the drive axle and not on the ta tag as well you can see we've got the mirror controls here the heat heat control for your side mirrors and on the far left here is the automatic hydraulic leveling system um, just something to point out to you. you'll notice a couple of cup holders here you've got a cup holder on that side for the passenger you also have a charge pad on this side I think I've got some of my coffee over here you've got the charge pad some light controls step cover controls there um, and then both of the captain's chairs they will swivel you notice in the captain's uh, passenger chair here this does have a little table here that does swivel with the chair um, it's also bolted so for those that want to remove it it can easily be removed I think I've covered most of I can think that I can think of for the Dutch star um, awesome new floor plan it is available uh, feel free to reach out to me. My, uh, my name is Grant Russell. I'm with TransWest Truck Trailer RV. My cell phone should be displayed below at 720-539-4711. Um, shoot me a text. Call me anytime. Um, if you want to reach out to me an email, that's also listed below. It's grussell, G-R-U-S-S-E-L-L, -S -S -E at transwest.com. Hope you guys have a great weekend. Stay safe. See you next time.